Aloha. You're watching Cradle Point, part of Ericsson here at RSA 2024. Hey, if you're at the show, please come by South Hall, booth 2261. And I got a two-time on-camera guy right here. He's Daniel Scarberry. He's the lead product, product manager for security. Is that right? That's a good title. I'll take it. Daniel will take the title. Now, over the last several days, we've had our public sector customers come up, particularly, who point out the exact model of equipment they use and how much they love it. But one of the questions we're getting from them is how do they then provide remote access to their internal systems to untrusted third parties? So the untrusted devices, third party access, supply chain, the list goes on. So what do we got for them, Daniel? Yeah, so part of the Secure Access Service Edge is remote browser isolation. Another part of that ends up being privileged remote access. And I think that client lists remote access to corporate resources, that is a privileged remote access use case. And it's a pretty cool solution to that problem of out-of-band access, untrusted third-party access. And I'll happily show how we solve that right now. To the demo. Let's do this. So the first part of that use case ends up being, we still want to identify the user. We want to authenticate the user. So user authentication is critical to this use case. Part of that's integrating with the customer's identity provider. So here I have a group-based attribute, which I'm creating in my Azure, in my identity provider, like Okta, Azure, ADFS. And what will happen is when those users go to authenticate, it will reflect on this user group. In this case, I'm using a generic group called third party and any member of that third party, we will look for their authentication. Now the next part of that is name resource based access. So we're not gonna give access to a third party to an entire virtual private network segment or VLAN segment or untrusted segment. We're doing very granular defined resource access. And in this case, I've defined a fire zone mapping. So a lot of our use cases here at Cradle Point are a lot of the public sector, mobility sector, I'm going to take this use case as that customer segment. So I've defined my FireZone mapping software. It's actually a web application that's private in our data center, connects to our database. And I'm going to give this allow access to that third party. And in this case, I give it an untrusted third party access name. And I add this. Now what this is going to do is use our isolation based technology and I'm gonna to go to my Okta tiles. So this could be any identity provider, but ultimately what we're doing is creating a tile here. And this tile, I have no client running on this machine, is I'm taking this untrusted machine here. This could be a kiosk. This, this is a kiosk here at RSA. I wouldn't trust this kiosk either. And when I click on our tile, what it's gonna do is open an isolated session to this particular application. So it opens in a new tab. This is not executing locally on this untrusted machine it is opening in an isolated session. We represent this isolated session, you can see a green bar here. So the application is now being provided remotely in a secure fashion, no downloads, no edit, no copy to clipboard, all of that's configurable. Uh, and now you've provided that clientless access to a private corporate application solving our problem. That's pretty sweet. So now, one of the things I also want to you know, talk about is, does are they able, like, what if they decide, say, to, try to upload some malicious content or maybe try to navigate somewhere that they probably shouldn't be. So part of that sassy stack is things like antivirus, content disarm and reconstruction. All of those engines are applied in sequence and each of those engines can be configured to say no copy to clipboard. That's part of the isolation technology. And in privileged remote access, you can start to set all of those little settings as granular as you need to be or take the simple and easy button and say, look, Isolation was the goal. I don't want to take it any further than that, but we can absolutely support no downloads, no uploads, no edits, read only, no copy to clipboard. All those use cases are open. And no client required. Now the thing about isolation, if you want to think about it, is it is an isolated cloud container. So if, if there is any malicious stuff that needs to be detonated, you want to detonate it far, far away from either the application or the accessing device itself. Fascinating stuff, Daniel. Thanks for having me, Peter. Great stuff. Your second time on the on the show, our show, this show, my I'm, show. I'm not getting stopped anywhere yet for my fame, so. Pretty soon, buddy. <laughs>
There you have it. If you'd like to learn more about any of our isolation solutions or, or our single vendor SASE solution, of course, you can visit cradlepoint.com or if you're at RSA, head on over to the South Hall, booth 2261. From my good buddy Daniel, I'm Peter, and we're with Cradlepoint. Thanks for watching.